All right, I'm gonna do a real quick how-to video of how to apply linseed oil to some wood. So this is what you're gonna need. Linseed oil, boiled, some gloves, and some paper towels. If the wood is small. And you need a piece of wood that's been cleaned and sanded down to about 120 grit. This board, I'm going to use the paper towels for it because it's kind of short. If it was any bigger, you can use a paintbrush, which I highly recommend doing, is using a throwaway paintbrush. Alright, let's get started. Oh, I didn't check to see if these gloves even fit. Oh no, these are those ones from work, aren't they? I would recommend if you got large hands to get large gloves. These are medium and they don't really fit me very well. Lovely. <laughs> this looks like kind of like Jeremy Clarkson trying to put on those gloves. Oh man, these are way too small. Lovely. Yep, definitely get larger gloves. <laughs> right. Good enough. Put a copious amount of this stuff on a paper towel. Eh, that'll work. And we're just gonna start working it in from down at this end. That's a little better. Cooking with gas now. Load that stuff on there egregiously, like so. That's fine. A little excess ain't, ain't gonna hurt nobody. Oops, a little too much. That is all right. Yeah, like I said, paintbrush is definitely a better way to do, do, do things. <laughs> do, 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 do things. <laughs> but that's all right. We're just gonna make sure this stuff is slathered on kind of thick for now. Mm, love the smell of fresh. Boiled linseed oil in the morning. Yeah, not really. It's getting on my other fingers, but it's not much of a mess, but not to worry about it, it wipes off. Clean up is fairly easy. I'm gonna put the lid back on the bottle. That's all I need. And then we're gonna move this to a spot. I wanna make sure it goes excess off my table. Check the back side, because we're not treating the back side. I wanna, there we go. It's slick now. So much better with a paintbrush, but if you don't have one, you can do it this way. And we're going to let this board sit for about probably 10 minutes. Then we'll come back and wipe off the excess, right? Here we go. It's been about 15 minutes. It's time to wipe off the excess. This cloth in this hand, I'm going to use it to hold the board. Then we're going to wipe off the excess with this. And the reason we let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes to let the wood soak up, all it can soak up and get it deep into its pores. Now the other reason we wipe off all this excess is because if you don't, it will pull and it will start getting tacky. And you'll never get it off. If it dries, starts drying up too much on you and you're gonna end up with a mess. 
and it never really dries it collects dust then the dust will collect mold and you don't want none of that And one last run. It's getting there. It's pretty dry. It's slick and it's shiny. And that's all she wrote, folks. It's good to go. Oh, we got some little fuzzies here. It's all right. They'll come off. Fine. All right, there you go, folks. Quick, simple, easy linseed oil application. Last thing to do is to just let it sit for 48 hours somewhere, nice and warm and safe from people knocking into it. This concludes this little quick tutorial of how to apply boiled linseed oil and get your wood that merle-like luster